And we're starting off with 51, the defending champion, John Wood and Anne Lewis. Pat, how are they looking? Well, to me, it's beautiful. Such calmness, and yet there is so much activity. There's something a bit special about, about their waltz. It's got a quality, a musical quality, that I find most satisfying. And when they're on form, and they're on form tonight, then it's quite beautiful to watch. Certainly is. 143. Dennis and Adele Tremblay. They were fourth last year. They've improved a lot. But you've got to improve to stay where you are and improve more to move ahead. And it's another of the English players, of course. England seem to be quite preeminent in this section of that. Yes, they, they certainly have got a, a super quality that is one step ahead of the rest of the world. Here they have such composure. The Amanos from Japan. And there's the other Japanese pair, the Tanakas. Super depth of quality. Yes, they've developed a musical quality to their dancing pattern, but it's grown over the last 12 months. Yes, indeed, they're obviously working on basic principles to produce this quality of movement. Yes, they weren't in the final of the walls last year, but they are this year, and fully deserved. Just listen to that applause. They must have had a rather dull period. I saw them dance in Germany at Easter in the Super World Cup, and uh, I was not, uh, not terribly impressed. And indeed, they... Uh, they didn't enjoy the best of results there, but that reflected the performance they put in. But tonight, they seem to be getting back again. Yes, they have a beautiful classic style in the Foxtrot. Now, Pat, I'm going to talk about these, this couple. Tell us who it is. Andrew Sinkinson and Lorraine Barry. Well, Lorraine yeah. Sinkinson, she is now. Yes, that's right. Now, the team match earlier in the week, as you know, the international team match is pretty special and unique occasion. And my notebook carries the comment that they danced possibly the finest foxtrot I've ever seen in all the many, many years I've been watching competition dancing. Now, tonight, I don't know if it's quite at that pinnacle, but, but I'm, I think it's breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. Yes, they have achieved a super quality of movement with a calmness and a power that is so beautiful to watch. Yes, they're beautiful people and the dancing is just, it's, it's got a, well, it's astonishing is the only word I can use. We have Marcus and Karen Hilton. Just seems to tighten just a little in this game. Still such quality of movement. You know what, the singers of the Hiltons and, and then the defending champion John Wood and Anne Lewis, it, it's, it's, I don't know what's going to happen. There's the, the title holder, John and Anne. One of the two Japanese couples finishing a fine foxtrot. It's 
sudden switch from the flowing, effortless foxtrot to the sharp and dramatic tango. Super staccato actions, phrased and choreographed so clearly to fill the music. champion, strong, full of self-belief, a fine tango in John Wooden and Lewis. Very nice left side movement there, Pat. Very well done. Yeah, it's very clean and nothing overturned, compatible body shapes. I think they know they've got a fight on their hands. I'm sure. So they held the, Sean Wooden and Lewis held the title in 1980 and they lost it in, in 1989. They lost it in 1990 to Marcus and Karen Hilton and they regained it in 1991. So there's been quite a seesaw going on there. And it's easy to see why because there's a wonderful dancers, both couples. That almost the smallest whim will decide the result. That's it. Really on form, Marcus and Karen tonight, particularly in this tango. Yes, they dance quicker actions. They don't employ the, the dramatic quality, possibly, that Wood and Lewis uh, tend to emphasise. It's the individual interpretation. That's it. Pat, that, uh, that John Wood was the British amateur champion with, uh, with another partner. And uh, Andrew and Lorraine Sinkinson were British amateur modern champions. Uh, and although uh, Marcus uh, and Karen were British champions, it was in the Latin section. They didn't figure too high in the ballroom section until after they turned professional, did they? But uh, they've no, the certainly made up for it. They've overtaken the Latin now. <laughs> they've they made won. up for it since. Yes, they won the Rising Stars when they first turned professional. And there's been no holding them since then. Quite literally, they go like the wind. Yoko Amano. I'm pleased to get back into this final. Yes. Three of the forward answers, they'll be happy with that. John and Anne, a good powerhouse of dancing. Yes, he's got to, he's got to do well in this dance. He's got to do the fight is on. Can't afford to just drop one placing anywhere from any judge. Got to be going for it flat out all the time. And right from the start, you know, late afternoon, right through till here, one o'clock in the morning, flat out, hundred percent, one hundred and ten percent. We're enjoying it there. Yes, the three leading couples. You don't know it's wide open. It's all up for grabs. This has got to be one of the great, great finals of all time. One well, certainly one of the best finals I've ever seen. Yes, it has been There's exceptional. An, yes, good. everybody's on their feet. Yes, thinking back over the years, I don't think... I've seen great battles with two couples, but tonight I think we've seen, we've seen the emergence of a new era. We've got three couples now all of whom are capable of taking that title and I, I never recall that situation in 30 years. A fantastic evening for them. Wonderful. Marvellous. Yes indeed, they've all danced fantastically well and gave such pleasure to this 
huge audience. Certainly to me. So we have a British Walsh champion, a British Foxtrot champion, a British Tango champion, and of course Marcus and Karen are also British Quickstep champions. But overall, they are the 1992 British Open to the World Professional Ballroom Champions. It's a night when it's more than ever possible. It's a shame there has to be a loser. But that's what it's about. That's it's competition it's about. dancing. It's dance that's sport. It. There's winners and there's losers. And after all, they were last year's losers. Now they're the winners. Kiss from Marcus to Karen, a wonderful proud moment.